Hi guys. Uh, one more pattern for today. Go to pattern-collections.com to find the daily pattern. Scroll down to pattern focus. That will find you today's pattern, which is Duo Cadent by Jenna Petrova. Petrova. All right. So you guys know Cadent. I hope you know Cadent. Cadent's one of my favorites. Apparently, what you do is you first draw Cadent. Do your dot grid. Do your S. Turn your tile. Do your S the other way. That's Cadent. If you don't know Cadent, that's Cadent. Okay? But don't stop there. Apparently, you're going to then aura the first S. Turn your tile and aura just this S, just this side, so that it looks like that. It's a variation of Cadent. And so here, she's just used it inside, all over the place in this tile. So let's do that. I'm going to actually uh, create a grid, uh, not a grid, but I'm going to draw a string, a, a hard string for this. So let me do a, a frame. And kind of uh, string do I feel like doing? Um, I think I'm going to just separate this tile organically kind of in half, but not really like that. That's all I want to do for a string. On one side, I'm going to do this pattern. And on the other side, I'm going to do just Cadent by itself as a kind of a contrast. I am going to use a pencil to get my um, my kind of cross pieces lined up pretty well. I'm going to use a pencil. I do that scale on this side and then on the other side I'm going to do a different scale. Let me erase that. And I'm actually going to do a different scale on this one. So you can play with size and scale in your patterns. Can you even see that? I don't know if you can. <clears throat> okay, see I've got bigger and I've got smaller. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so then on this side, I'm gonna draw the dots. Ugh. Good Lord, I need a new phone. Now it says Verizon service has stopped. Not good. If Verizon service decides it's going to crash all the time, then my phone won't work, right? As it's been, my keyboard it keeps telling me that it's not working. Now it says Verizon service has stopped. Good thing I'm on Wi-Fi. So my friends, my 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 family, if you are trying to contact me and I don't get the text or the phone call, it's because my darn phone keeps crashing. All right. Oh, I forgot to, forgot to unplug the phone. Oh well. You guys will just hear the message machine. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and, and phone number. 
We'll see if somebody leaves a message. Probably not. They rarely do. Nope. Okay, so cadent. We're going to just do our S shape. Going this direction. Love Cadent. Cadent is one of my favorites. Okay, and then if you're not sure where that goes, it's going to come up and around like that. Up and around, because there's a dot out there somewhere, but it just, you can't see it, right? Right, and then turn your tile. Remember to turn your tile, it's important. And then just draw S's going the other way. All it is, it's dots and S's. You can do cadent, it's dots and S's. Okay, and it comes from here and it goes in there. You can't quite see that whole, whole cadent, but it's there. And right here would be another one. And you have part of it right there. Okay. There we go. That is cadent. Large scale. And the reason I did this one large scale is so I can see this duo cadent really nice and easy. So how do I want it to live? That is my question. I'm going to want my tile to live that way for me. I think that's the direction I want it to live. So looks like what we do is right here, go over a little bit and just mimic this line like that. On one side. Now I've made this really big. You don't have to draw yours so big. You can draw it smaller. I drew it nice and big because I wanted to. Simple as that. That's all you're going to see. Um, on this one you'll see it come here. So you don't really see that. But you'll see that. Okay. And see, okay. All right, did I do them all? Yeah. And then turn your tile and do the same thing here. And you would see a little of it here, like that. You might see a little bit there. All right, there it is. That is the Duo Cadent. Interesting little pat pattern. And then I'm gonna draw just regular Cadent here. I'm going to do pretty large circles though, but I'm not going to color them in.
Okay. while since I've used Caden in a tile and I don't know why because it's one of my favorites it's one of my favorites to to show somebody because it's so simple and then it looks so amazingly complex but it's not Why hers look different than mine? Hers look different than mine because her S goes the other way. Hmm. I did my I did this on the wrong side. That's why they don't look right. Alrighty. Let's do it again over here because this doesn't look right via the pattern because I, I draw my S's like an S. These were drawn like a backwards S for the cadent part. And I didn't notice until I just now noticed. So, this actually needed to go on this side, which makes them look more like they're supposed to. So when you're drawing your cadent and you're doing this duo cadent, no matter which way you draw your cadent, do this aura line on the outside curve. See how now they look like curves and this, they don't look like curves. Because I did this wrong. I did this on the inside instead of the outside. So, yeah. I'm glad I did this twice. Oops, missed one. Okay, and then the same thing. I did it on the inside. It needs to be done here on the outside. Do it on the outside curve. And look how that looks different. Yep, there we go. Oops, I missed one right here. Look how that looks different. That compared to that. That's drawing it on the outside curve and that's drawing it on the inside curve. That's interesting to have learned. Now, just because I did it wrong does not mean it's bad. There is a difference between it being not the expected result and it being bad. It's not a bad. That's not bad. It's just not the expected result. But that's because I did it, quote unquote, wrong. But it's not bad. But it's just that this looks different than that. It's okay. 
it can look different. I want that to be on top of this and to make that on top of this it's going to get shaded right there that's where I'm starting with my shading just like that poof poof that is now on top of that absolutely and then I can do these little bits where this is all. Let me just do right there on each one of those. Right there. Super simple, right there. Blend that all out. Oops, I missed one. Right there. Okay, look at that. Perfect. This one, I think I'm going to decide that they are going to get this side. that and then they're getting this side like this why I don't know it's just the way I want it Is there a rule no nope. no rule just where I decided I wanted it if you put it on just two sides, two adjoining sides, then they look like the sun is is on one side and it gives it a like a a drop type of a shadow or a cast shadow. But that's all. That's the only reason. I'm not doing it for any particular purpose. There's no hard and fast rule in Zentangle as to where you put your shading. Your shading just gives your tile some life. But you can decide where that life is. You don't have to put it in a specific spot. Just be consistent. You know, if you're doing a grid type tangle, put it in the same spot on each part of your grid. That's all. Look at that. That's awesome. See, just because I didn't do it right doesn't mean it was wrong. Okay, I want it to live like this. And this is duo cadent. There we go. Boom. Done. Easy. Quick. Oh, I like it because I have a couple of uh, requested tiles to do and then I will be done for the day and I will actually have time yeah I will have time to do that if I can get them done in relatively quick manner all right you guys have a great day have the great uh, hope you had a great weekend today is the last day of the weekend right today is Sunday according to the chart because it's the last day so I hope you've had a really great time this week uh, that uh, things have gone well for you I really do appreciate everything that you guys do for me 
Um, you might not think you're doing a lot for me, but every time you comment and do something sweet for me, I feel it deep down inside. And I hope that you are turning around in turn and spreading that joy elsewhere because um, I know I do. And um, let's make this world a better place. Better place for us to live in, better place for our kids to live in, a better place for our grandkids to live in. Wouldn't you like that? I know I would. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.